Commodore 1541 floppy drive is constantly named one of the slowest and worst floppy drives ever. But I actually really like it, so I'm just going to have a quick go with saving and loading up a game on there to show that it's actually not that bad when the um, when the drive routines are actually well written. The original drive and the and the ROM that came with it wasn't very effective for uh, for data transfer for several reasons, which um, there's plenty of videos to talk about. But I'm just going to quickly show loading, uh, saving, and then loading back a game save with uh, with a fast loader routine. And just to show that it, it's actually pretty pretty good and very very fast uh, when when used with clever programming. So what I'm just going to do is load up a game uh, using the SD2 IEC, which I've got daisy chained here through the floppy drive, which is why the Commodore 64 is actually on top. And I've got it running through an action replay cartridge, which I'll use to make a backup of a game. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So. So I'm just going to load up again using the SD card, which I've got set to device 9. Um, let's, uh, let's go for Gianna Sisters. Is that one? And just load this one down here. Okay, so we've got that loading from device nine on the SD card right now. Uh, crack intro screen there. Let's wait for the decrunching to go on. The loading's already finished from the SD card now. And what I'm going to do now with the trainer screen, I'm actually going to use the action replay to freeze the game. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is hit F1 for backup. And let's just put this floppy disk in here. Now the action replay actually comes with uh, one of the uh, one of the fastest uh, floppy loading. Routines that I've that I've ever used on the Commodore 64. There was a lot of them around um, under various cartridges, utility cartridges. Some games came with their own on the disc itself, which it loaded before loading the actual game. Uh, but this particular one, which is uh, is one of the fastest I use, which is uh, the Warp 25. So we can see there we've got disc save Warp 25, and it wants a file name, so I'm just going to name it Gianna. If you're wondering why the machine is on top of the uh, of the drive, it's because of the very short cable that you get with the SD to IEC. Needs to plug into the cassette port for power, and then hooks in the back there. Okay, so we've saved that already. So I'm just gonna and just to check that the game falls and will restart. Okay, I'm just gonna go off to restart program. So let's try it. Unlimited live. No, we don't want that. Unlimited. Right, so the game will continue to load. Okay, so I'm going to power it off completely now. And I'm going to unplug, unplug the SD card. And I'll unplug the cartridge as well. And let's give it a try and see what happens. So what we actually do first is we load the fast loader and we can see there that the Gianna file which was stored, all we do is move the cursor up there and hit enter so we'll time it. And 
and there we go. Less than 10 seconds, you can do that with pretty much any game. So, yeah, it was very slow when it first came out, like I said, for the reasons I mentioned before. But when used uh, effectively with efficient coding, it's actually a pretty good machine. And it's okay for me to copy that game because I have the original here anyway, see? Promise. <laughs>